felt I was involved as much as I needed to be. Uh, I was, you know, throughout the kind of the, the lessons I had before the birth um, was given instructions and I kind of knew what my role was. The fact that she then called her mum to come and support her more <laughs> is where it's totally her choice. <laughs> uh, and our second child, Everly. Uh, the the birth itself and we thought okay great you know second child hey we've been here we've done this before not a problem at all then Everly started to have issues um, when her, her oxygen blood saturation levels were completely randomly and, and for, for no apparent reason um, crashing um, and I think at one point I counted four machines and 11 different wires rigged up to her and this, you know, she's 48 hours old and so one thing I've, I've found was very noticeable with the doctors and the consultants in regards to the, the NICU and the SCABU units were um, they seemed more human. Um, they, they were incredibly warm to speak to. I'm not saying doctors aren't, but you, you can. Some GP surgery is an example. You can simply go through the motions uh, but, um, but these doctors were, they were people, they understood exactly what you were going through and they were, you know, they were incredibly sympathetic and you could, you could see in their eyes that, that they were doing everything they could uh, to help the situation and to help you. Um, okay. If there was anything that I could do or say or recommend for that whole process is, is try and, if, if at all possible, keep the entire parental unit together, um, not just for the infant, but for them, for them as well. Mm -hmm.